Lesson 3, Third Week Learning to be Content Background Reading Job 6, 28 But now be so kind as to look at me. Would I lie to your face? NIV Ecclesiastes 4, verse 6 Better one handful with tranquility than two handfuls with toil and chasing after the wind. Philippians 4, verse 11 I am not saying this because I am in need, for I have learned to be content whatever the circumstances. Hebrews 13, verse 5 Keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have, because God has said, Never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. 1 Timothy 6, verse 8 But if we have food and clothing, we will be content with that. Devotional Reading 2 Kings 6 verses 1 to 7. 6. The company of the prophets said to Elisha, Look, the place where we meet with you is too small for us. 2. Let us go to the Jordan, where each of us can get a pole, and let us build a place there for us to meet. And he said, Go. 3. Then one of them said, Won't you please come with your servants? I will, Elisha replied. 4. And he went with them. They went to the Jordan and began to cut down trees. Five as one of them was cutting down a tree, the iron axe head fell into the water. Oh no, my Lord, he cried out. It was borrowed. Six, the man of God asked, where did it fall? When he showed him the place, Elisha cut a stick and threw it there and made the iron float. Seven, lift it out, he said. Then the man reached out his hand and took it. Central verse. But godliness with contentment is great gain. 1 Timothy 6 verse 6, KJV Yet true godliness with contentment is itself great wealth. 1 Timothy 6 verse 6, NLT Key terms Content, to make happy, pleased and satisfied with what one has or is. Discontent Lack of satisfaction with one's possessions, status, or situation. Lack of contentment. Introduction. To be content means that a person is in a state of satisfaction or in a state of peaceful happiness. In this day when so many people are living better than they have ever lived, there are only a few people who seem to be content with their lives. The spirit of dissatisfaction is everywhere, for it seems that the more a person gets, the more he wants. Many are like the farmer whose barns were full and he decided to tear them down and build bigger barns. He was not content to just have his barns full and be happy to give the overflow to someone else who was in need. Instead, he decided to increase the capacity of his barns. People would probably live longer, have less stress, less pressure problems, and have an altogether healthier life if they became content with what they already have. Discussion Contentment as well as discontentment is a learned behavior. Just as a person learns it, they can turn around and unlearn it as fast as they learned it. Being content gives the believer a better outlook on life. Psychology Today, April 2021 says, the greatest wealth that a person can possess is contentment, not money. Many people seem to think that if they had all the money they needed, it would make them happy and content. But according to Psychology Today, This means that being content wherever we are with our lives is more valuable than being wealthy. When a person is content with his life, it means that he is satisfied with what he has and with who he is. It means that he does not compare himself to others nor does he wish that he had a different life. He will feel that he is living a life that he is satisfied with and he is willing to accept himself for who he is. Contentment means that a person does not spend valuable time wishing that he could be someone else but he values who he is and tries to better himself without being frustrated or stressed out. Contentment is a very necessary virtue when you are living for Jesus. For contentment assures the believer of inner peace and allows him to be able to show love and gratitude to others as the Lord would have him do. It also helps a believer to know his purpose in the body of Christ. This causes him to be steadfast in his commitment to the cause of Christ. The word of the Lord tells the believer that a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Discontent allows the enemy the freedom to attack the believer's mind and causes him to become double-minded. 
When a person is double-minded, their words nor actions can be counted on to be dependable. The word of the Lord tells the believer that contentment gives the believer great gain. It is very profitable. Contentment comes from our relationship to what is in a person rather than their reaction to their surroundings. When there is contentment, anger, sadness, joy, frustration, money, challenges, nor excitement can define a believer. When a believer is content, he has the key to happiness. He may be ambitious, but he is never greedy. He can sit back, relax, and be grateful for all that he has achieved. He will have peace of mind. The word of the Lord admonishes the believer to seek peace, even to pursue peace. As much as he can learn to be at peace with his fellow believers, he can also learn to be content. Contentment will help a believer be incredibly positive about himself, and this will help him to facilitate growth and seek improvement in his life. In his quest for self-improvement, the believer must be able to see the signs of God's provision, either through his word or from life learned lessons. In his search, he will not be anxious, but will be filled with peace as he reminds himself that God is listening to and sees his needs. A contented person understands that God designed him to achieve wonderful things and that he is unique in his personality, his abilities, and his relationship with God and people. He knows that no one else on this earth can be him, live his life, and accomplish what God has for him. So, contentment helps him to focus on the things that matter in his life. He no longer desires the green grass on the other side of the fence. Situations will come into everyone's life at one time or another, but a contented person will not become unhappy nor dissatisfied when those times come. He will be able to settle his spirit and realize that God is yet in control in his life, and whatever is going on is absolutely working for his good. He knows that God is bigger than anything that he could ever face. A believer learns how to be content in his circumstances, even when he is not content with them. Paul said in Philippians 4 verse 11, Not that I am speaking of being in need, for I have learned in whatever situation I am in to be content. Conclusion We are certainly living in the last days, just as Paul told the believers that it would be perilous times, which is why many of the older saints long for that time for years gone by. Many of them have sad hearts and find themselves complaining. But when life around them is turning into a whirlwind of confusion and they wish that things will end, they need to remember that Jesus has brought into the believer's heart with himself everything they need. The believer must lift his eyes up and know that his redemption draws nigh, knowing that having Jesus in his life, as the head of his life, brings true contentment. So, while living in the midst of a fast-paced, consumer-driven society, pray that God will help to give complete contentment. Questions. Why is contentment so important in the life of a believer? What are the negative points for a believer if he is discontent? What can a believer do to gain contentment in his life? How can God help the believer become content? Essential thought. Learning to be content in a situation while you are not content with the situation is great gain. Thank you for listening and to God be the glory.